Neat stuff. Neat stuff. Hi there, Scary Gary. Sure glad you guys came back for another week. Well, today we're going to talk about the roof on the RV. The roof on most RVs is a material that's called TPO, which stands for thermoplastic polyolethane. One of the manufacturers, he put a quote out there that stated, a single ply roof membrane that offers excellent performance at a cost efficient price. I got a little problem when people try to save money and they put uh, TPO roofs on buildings too, but typically that's 60 mil. What they put on top of an RV roof is 30 mil. Now, 30 mil is pretty close to 1 32nd of an inch. I don't know if you realize, but on most tape measures, you know, they only usually go down to about 16. So this is like half of one of the marks on a tape measure. So it's very, very thin. So as in the past, which I'll reference one of my videos that I did before in the, uh, in the show notes, just my antenna coming off and hitting. I've heard people that had rocks hit. And what kind of led me up to this is after every time I take the camper out, when I come home, I go ahead and wash it and I inspect the entire camper. And what I noticed was on one of the edges, it looked like a little line was sticking up in the air. And I honestly thought it was just a piece of trash that they left up there and it was just extending up. So I actually had to cut the membrane and then I found out it wasn't a little piece of trash up there. It was actually one of the staples that was holding down the, the roof, uh, sub roofing and it had vibrated up. Cause remember when we go down the road, we are the four point plus earthquake happening all the time, which sure doesn't make sense when you put 60 mil on a building. And unless you're in California and you don't, you don't get earthquakes all the time, like you do in a trailer and you put 30 mil on a trailer. So it's kind of like a lot of movement that goes on with it. So but specifically on this spot, I did cut it. I did take the take the staple and, and drove it back down. And then I took a piece of i core tape and I cut a little piece of it that covered that specific spot, put it on the roof and I've been watching it ever since, make sure it didn't pull up, which kind of leads me to the next portion of this, which what they do on all the termination, all the penetration spots on the roof, they put the die core caulk. It's very soft. And which is made soft because you're moving down the road so much, but also it's acceptable to cracking. So that's the main thing. Every time you inspect the roof, you really need to look it over. But I saw an other individual's video on, they used a, uh, a material called a turnabond, I believe it was, or it was a tape, which is the same as the Dicor tape. And they replaced all their caulk with this Eternabond because of, the manufacturer recommends you go up there every six months and inspect all these spots. In any place that's bad, you add some more to it. If it's got a crack, because you don't want the water to get down inside your trailer. And what this gentleman stated in his video was that this is replacing this. I'm not going to have to go back up there. This tape is going to last. Now, I said, well, let's give it a try because I was actually seeing maybe the start of a little crack that was on the very front edge of the uh, camper between the front cap and the TPO that's on top. And I could see a few places where I needed to touch it up. So what I decided, let's just try. And I had enough of the uh, Dicor tape that I could take it from one side to the other. So the first step of it was to clean the substrate and they make a, a chemical to do that, but I went ahead and just used some acetone, which actually kind of broke down the other and it cleaned it up really well. And then I placed this tape over where the cock was. And I did this uh, about in the early, late, middle of summer. 
and we've been on several trips and I've been watching it all the time and haven't noticed any problems. So I'm planning to go ahead and pick up some more of the tape, either be it the die core or the Eternal Bond, or, and start replacing many of the other spots that instead of having to go up there and add caulk to them, I can just put the tape down and hopefully it's going to last. So, I can't emphasize enough the importance of going up on top. Um, the other thing is every time that I go up after a trip, I clean my roof, I inspect it, I go ahead and take a picture of it. And that's my record that I actually did it because if you do have a problem, the manufacturer gives you like it's a 15 year warranty on the material, which is a little bit of a misnomer because what that means is that They'll give you the material for free within 15 years if there's something that has made the material bad. But they will also will state, have you been inspecting it? And they also won't install it. And they also won't repair any of the substrate that has gone bad. So that could be far greater. I think the material, maybe only a couple hundred bucks, but to, to actually fix a rope, I've heard cases where people spent six, seven thousand dollars to do it. So, because there's a lot of work underneath and, and a lot of labor involved with putting it up there. So, a lot of labor with just taking the old one off. So, it's very important to do up there. It helps keep your rig a lot cleaner. It helps you know that you're going to stay dry. Well, I hope this has been informative, and I sure hope to see you next week. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Turn on your post notifications. Put the comments down below. Subscribe and you make me happy.